previously during Thracia 776. Yeah, that's is funny because he slows you down so much if you're trying to get to a escape point. He has like the lowest move of your army at 5, tight with a lot of people still, but he's also so heavy that anyone carrying him loses speed. So he always holds up people and it's actually like, it's optimal to leave him behind at some points instead of like waiting for him to catch up. Actually, it isn't. Hi, I'm Chubby Choosy, back in the clack. In this video, we'll be studying all the mechanics unique to Fire Emblem. And now, let's continue where we left off. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, Mom. <laughs> this chapter is named uh, Mother and Daughter. I'm sure it'll be a heartwarming reunion. <laughs> Little lady, you're a sight for sore eyes. Avil, I can't tell you how glad I am that you're safe. Little man, did that maggot Radric hurt you? I'm fine, but Marita, she... Marita? What is happening to my Marita? I don't know if she's even alive. We were separated as soon as we got to the castle. Radric, this is your idea of a joke? You gave me word that I could see my daughter. Are you such an excuse of a man that even your word means nothing? <laughs> I never lied. Of course you can see your daughter. I just made a small omission. I am altering the deal. Pray I do not alter it further. <laughs> <laughs> Look out, Abel. There's armed men coming towards us. Oh no, we sent them into the arena. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't see the problem. You like the arena, right? I love the arena. This is actually a really cool map. Uh, okay, so people yeah. have been complaining about cool. how I say chick or chick. Oh, wow, that's... People really find the strangest things to complain about for you. Chick, chick, chick. I think it's, it's supposed to be like... Ch ch yeah, ch yeah ch that's the word I'm looking for, yeah. These are my terms. Defeat my prized pit fighters, and you can see your daughter. Ah. I really have uses a pit fighter. Here they come now. Pit fighters, meet Avil. Avil, <laughs> pit fighters. You had your introductions. Let it never be said I'm a poor host. <laughs> By the way, Galsa shows up on turn 5. <laughs> Abel! Turn 69, right? Yeah. <laughs> Little lady, this is gonna get real dangerous real quick. Stay clear and keep your head down. Let's get dangerous. Yeah. And Leaf doesn't even get an introduction. No, he's, uh, he's just breaking in. He's just gonna have some fun in the arena too. So yeah, welcome to chapter five. Uh, it's not that far, really. Like the escape port is over here, so it's yeah, not right that there. it's not that so, far away. We just all gotta have to do is wiggle in front of the wall to clip through it, and you're done. We just gotta go like uh. uh, <laughs> uh. It seems like every game has one of those maps where the game is like, yeah, it's it's right there. You just escape right there, but you have to go all the way around something. Reminds you know, like, me like, of uh, chapter eight in Binding Blade. <clears throat> it reminds me of uh, Johanna Castle in uh, Sacred Stones. Oh, yeah, with, uh, yeah, yeah. Kalak and his mare. That's true. All right, so, yeah, we got to make our escape. Meanwhile, Avil and uh, Nana are uh, stuck fighting in this little pit right here, and they're going to be assaulted by uh, pit fighters in the pit. Pitfall. I mean, pit fighter. <laughs> pit fighter. Um, the more people you kill, the more scary pit fighters will show up, and yeah, it's no joke. Galsus will actually show up at some point. I don't remember how. I think it's if you kill too many. Yes, it's uh, it's actually pretty complicated and pretty interesting for if you want to get optimal outcomes here. Mm -hmm. But uh, hard and, to explain. And here we see Raedric with the Loptrian Fang. Yeah. But uh, some, something tells me we won't be fighting him yet. Y you actually can't fight him. The, the, this place is locked off. <laughs> yeah. And the uh, Velda. Uh, it's just a bishop. He doesn't matter. Yeah, he's. I think his death quote is like Archbishop Manfroy, please forgive me or something. Probably. <laughs> 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 Lots of authority stars, though. Very, uh... Yeah, I don't think they work, though. No, no, no. I it's think not. if you go here, uh, you'll... The guy, I think he's, like, a part of his own little group with, like, only one yeah. guy. Yeah. I think you meant the data menu? Like, uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you go, go to... Data sta status? status? Yeah, that, yeah, so yeah, you see, yeah. like, Melkenrosen, Monster, and Melkenrosen. Yeah, and the Monster's led by that... Yeah, that guy. That's, uh... That, the guy that doesn't even have a quote. He's up there. All the way up there. Yeah, so we gotta escape, but first we gotta talk about units. So we get Nana in this chapter. Here she is. All units. 
Yeah. Nah, nah. Nah, 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 nah. Nana's great. She, again, she is a troubadour, but she's dismounted in this chapter. But after this uh, chapter, we'll all get our, on our mounts. That means she'll find her horse, too. So, uh, Nana, I do believe she's the only mounted healer in Tracia. Am I am I right in this? You you, you know. No. Amelda. Uh, Amelda. Amalda, right, right, right. Female Palinesca will stay with you. But Amalda joins much, much later. And you might even not even get her, depending on the route you pick. So, um, yeah, Nana's, like, primarily one of your only mounted healers in Tracia. And that's really good, because she can heal, and then she can canto out of there to safety. Uh, and unlike most of the other staff units, who are frail and slow, Nana not only has great mobility, but she can also fight. She comes with her personal weapon, the Earth Sword. Uh, you know, that sword that had ten uses in FE4. It's actually really, really... Give <laughs> it six times more between games. I don't know what happened to it. Yeah, it just became really good. And not only that, she, but... She, can, she, she did, took really care, good care of it. <laughs> she really did. And, and you got the Hammer and stuff in this game, too. So it can have even more uses if you want. So aside from being a little bit heavy for her con, uh, the Earth Sword is a fantastic weapon. A lot of mites, very accurate, it heals her and can attack at range. Uh, for this reason, a lot of people le like to give Nana Wrath, uh, because, uh, you know, give her the Wrath Manual, which you get pretty soon, I think. Chapter 8x. Yeah. Th this means that Nana will kill most of the things attacking her and heal back up to full health. So as long as no enemy can, like, one-shot her and as long as she hits, she's very hard to kill, actually. And she can become a very decent combat unit. And that's a pretty nice combination of uh, utility to have, like a unit that can heal itself, fight, and heal, and also has great movement and canto. That's pretty good. Not only that, but Nana also comes with Charm, which boosts the hit rate and avoid of everyone within three tiles by 10%. It's like she supports the entire cast, really. The only thing, like, bad thing I'd have to say about Nana is that her base staff rank is a little low. She's E rank, but she's only 20 experience away from getting D. But that still means she has to like spam a few stays before she can get to those good utility stays, like warp and stuff like that. It'll take a while, but she promotes the Paladin, which uh, increases her combat stats even further and her mobility even further. And I think Nana's one of the best units in the game. I'll give her five stars. She's really fucking good. Yeah, Nana is amazing. Um, you mentioned it's like she supports the entire cast, but she's actually the only person who supports Leaf. So if you put her near Leaf, Leaf gets plus 20 hit and plus 20 avoid, which is super nice. Yeah. Same with Finn. Um, one of you is who supports Finn. I think maybe even the only one. Not entirely sure on that. And then uh, she supports Homoros and Delmut, who we get later. So all those units really appreciate Nana being near. Uh, if I had like one bad thing to say about Nana, it would be that her staff accuracy isn't the greatest. Like you mentioned her staff rank, but I always find that Nana is someone who's like always going to miss at least one heal every chapter uh, at first because her skill is only six. So that means 84 hits. With staves, it does go up over time, but her growths actually aren't that good. So if you want Nana to like get good stats, it's nice to put some scrolls scrolls on her. Yeah. Uh, this is very easy to do though because you mentioned giving her wrath, and if she does that, she can kill like five thousand enemies in a turn if you want to in certain chapters, and that can give her a lot of quick level ups without having the scrolls to be traded around all the time. Uh, it's a pretty quick way to level her up if you want to. Uh, promotes the female paladin, same class as Imelda. Um, sword rank isn't like super particularly good, but she's like primarily mostly just a utility unit. Uh, I mostly use her just for supports. Like even if Nana spends like an entire chapter without fighting, chances are she helps someone hit her target or dodge something or stay alive or something. Um, absolutely fantastic unit. One of my favorite units ever, probably. So uh, five stars. Nice. All right. Let's uh, speak. <laughs> speaking of five stars. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. Say hello to the the, the Graf Caliber Tome. It comes uh, equipped on a guy named Aspal. Uh, the Graf Tal <laughs> Caliber Tome is really good. Uh, look, 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 look at the stats on this thing. 100 hit, 13 might, 40 crit. Jesus. Also effective against flying units, in case you want to murder them. I think Kaga likes sages. I think Kaga might like sages. I'm not sure though. I think he might like sages, yeah. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, wielding the Graf Caliber Tome is, of course, Aspel, and he wields it really, really well. Uh, Aspel is a fantastic unit. His stats start out pretty good, in my opinion, for a level 1 unit, um, and his growth rates are also really, really good. You can put the scroll on him, the said scroll, to, like, give him, like, 110% speed growth or something like that. Five, uh, yeah. 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 Over 100. Which means he'll always, he'll always level speed, which is pretty insane. I think he get plus two as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Promoting Aspel as soon as he hits 10 is definitely recommended because Sage promotion gains in this game are insane. I think they get 4 or 5 points of speed or something like that. They get a lot, yeah. It's crazy. Actually, could be plus 6, let me just look it up real quick. And it's so easy to get Aspel to level 10. <laughs> and once you do, you have like a super strong 1-2 to two range combat unit that can also heal, 
really, really crazy. Although you want to watch the fatigue a little bit, so you don't want to staff spam too much with him. I think like you should primarily want to use Aspel to fight and then heal when needed, once he's a Sage. Um, his Graph Caliber Tome, which already has a, a lot of crit, synergizes really well with his follow-up critical modifier of 3. He pretty much always crit on a second attack. I think, yeah, he'll actually always crit as long as he uses the Graph Caliber because it has 40% crit, so that's a guaranteed crit on his second hit. Which will take out most enemies because Unison Tracia doesn't have a lot of magic, usually. Uh, you can even give him a uh, Pure Water or a Magic Up Staff if you really want him to, like, massacre enemies. There's a lot of fun th things you can do with Aspel. He also has Adept, so like, you know, in case he doesn't kill his enemies, he can attack again and kill them even harder. And I do also believe he gets supported by... No, he doesn't support Kit, but he gets supported by Leaf. Yes. So you put Leaf next to him, and he'll be... He'll... He's, he'll dodges everything, man. Like, once he becomes a Sage, he can very reliably, like, dodge dangerous chapters like Chapter 14, as long as you don't put him in range of too many ballistas. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, lots of fun things you can do with Aspel, like level up his fire rank, so you can use the Meteor Tome. I do believe you did that in your Iron Man. Yeah, that takes forever. <laughs> I would not recommend for anyone. No, no, but it's <laughs> unless you're like really dedicated to it. Yeah, no, he's he's probably one of the best units in the game. Five stars. <laughs> Love this guy. Yeah, uh, his promotion gains just to like picture how insane they are. Plus five magic, plus five skill, plus six speed, and plus four defense. Like that's that's so insane. <laughs> it's so insane. Um, Graph Caliber, I think, you haven't really mentioned it, but it's, it's the best boss killer in the game by far, because a lot of bosses are on thrones and gates, those give plus 10 defense. Uh, before we'll be using Avel to kill it with a Fire Sword, we're gonna lose that option soon enough, and Graph Caliber is a great replacement for it, because, well, he, he just ignores defense, and hits on a lower magic stat, and just wrecks them with the critical, generally. Uh, it takes a little bit before Aspel starts to double, that's why it's good to give him a set scroll. Like, it's, it sounds a little weird, because he has such a good group of speed growth already, why would you make him overkill speed? But the sooner he doubles, the better, and it also ups his avoid, which I should mention, lets him dodge tank a lot. And also, the set scroll boosts his magic growth a little bit. His, a his base magic is like, kind of average, it's like 5 right now. I think it starts at 4 even, you might have gotten lucky with a level up. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to rely on Graph Caliber to kill generic enemies when you can avoid it. I like to use it early on to get him going, but you want him to like kill stuff with fire and thunder as soon as you can. Uh, but thankfully, Lithus has been stealing a lot of tomes for him, so that'll probably work out in the end. Um, but yeah, you can pretty much promote him whenever he wants, and then just becomes invincible. Sage promotion, the games are great. If he gets D rank stabs upon promotion, so letting him hit like C rank is feasible. I don't think he can make it to warp unless you really like focus him on the stabs. Generally, like you said, it's better to have him fighting. Uh, but he has so many reliable crit setups and adapts to top it off. He's just absolutely fantastic. I like to give him the life rings and the shield ring from the last few chapters, um, but giving the lead is just as good. It's just Asphel is like someone you can just throw into enemies, and if you don't have to worry about him dying or fatiguing, you can do it a lot more often. So I think he's a great candidate for those staff uses as well. But easy five star unit. Actually, I think I made a top 15 video a while ago with like all the, the best units in the series. I think I, I should have put Asphel on there probably. He's that good. Yeah, actually, yeah, you should have. Wow, okay. Yeah, hindsight is 2020. <laughs> uh, so one thing I think is kind of funny to do, I think you're going to hate this, but I actually like to put Asphel here. No, I do it all the time. Oh, you do? Yeah. I thought I was smart for coming up with a strategy you didn't know. Of course know. you aren't. Of course you aren't. <laughs> but, oh, so do you want to actually give him the light ring, though? Oh, uh, you still have it. Yeah, why not? Um, I don't know who else you would like, consider giving it to, because I feel like Leaf has gotten plenty of bulk already. Yeah. He's fine. So We're I suppose we man. could... But we let's not waste this. Uh, do you want to? Do you usually use this Grab Calibre Tome for this, or...? Well, so what, what is your goal by putting him there? Because it depends on whether, whether you want him to kill everything or not. Well, I don't want him to fight the sniper, because the sniper kills him. Mm-hmm. Unless you give the life ring, then he doesn't. Yeah, but still, it's kind of scary. Like, I, I don't know, I, it is kind of funny, like, do you, do you, How many mages do you want him to kill? Is, I guess the better question, because I, I generally don't fight the sniper here. Either. I don't, like, as long as he, if you put him here, he clears out at least, like, four mages, which makes the next, like, because these mages will start moving immediately. They'll run around yes. here, and they'll link up with you somewhere around here. Yeah. Which, which often hits you at a pretty bad time. Yeah, so well, if you don't use Graph Caliber here, he's not going to kill these mages. And, like, if you don't, if you, if you have, like, a quick thunder, he's going to, like, counter one mage, and the rest is like, I don't see anyone to attack, I'm just going to move up anyway, so... Yeah, yeah. I think, if you if you want to put him there, I think I almost have to give him Graph Caliber. Yeah, yeah, but I'll give him the set scroll, too, I guess. Yeah, set scroll, and uh, maybe leave mana in range, leave him range, stuff like that, give him a higher crit chance. Yeah. Um, 
There is a chance sometimes that if you use the holy water on him, he will like have a better survivability, but they also have like a chance not to attack him, because enemies will not attack if they do zero I don't zero have damage. holy water at this point, I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay. In that case, then forget what I said. There is a holy water on the priest on the on the right hand that you can give to him later if you want him to have like better magic against enemies. That yeah. can let him stay if Graf Cadaver uses later. Mm hmm All right. Well, I'll do that. I'll, I'll, I'll move uh, a spell over here. Yeah, use the light ring then. Uh, I'd have to trade that from uh, Lara. Well, I don't see the big problem then. <laughs> so, All I feel right. like you need Lara to be over there. I guess, I guess not, no? <laughs> I mean, you can have trade it off to, with someone else too if you want to. But hey, this works too. All right. It does slow me down a little bit, but hey, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm surely going to get that A-ring. You, you we can still get progress done with uh, the honest You don't have to be there. Uh, you don't have to like hurry up with the leaf. Cause, uh, he gets teleported over there later anyway. Oh my god, for some reason when I popped the life ring, I was like, oh, I only got hit points when I leveled up. <laughs> <laughs> I thought at this point you were used to getting bad level ups, but I guess... Oh not. my god, don't even... Oh god, I've never... Oh my god, that... Oh. Feels good, doesn't it? Feels oh. good, doesn't it? I've never been this annoyed in my life. Alright, so... Uh, See, it's the challenge. Oh, Bob, well, did you mean to put Lifus in range? I didn't put him in range. Oh, you I did. did. Oh, oops, yeah, I did. Good job. You can disarm him and get the capture bait if you want, or just bait the guy with Fergus. Mm. Or I can oh, I put Fergus in here. Yeah, then he still uh, gets you, right? So I, I assume you like to train Fergus to wield the, uh, to wield the Brave Sword, right? Oh, yeah. It's, uh, it's great. It's like, it slows him down a lot, but it has so much might, you can still kill anything, anything with it. And it's like, it's good for capturing too, so you should like it as well. Mm-hmm. So I guess I'll just pick up... I could rescue Leaf is out of range. Yeah, you did out of your protecting with Dragon, but you know, that also works. Mm -hmm. but, but I'll put uh, Leaf right here. Okay, so you're not stealing anything next turn with Leaf is then? Uh, probably not. Okay, uh, right. so... okay. That's good <laughs> with me. <laughs> Let's be back, it's good for me. So yeah, you would just want to move Abel into a corner here, with Nana be behind her. Yeah, if, uh, if one of the pit fighters have, like, plus move, Nana's dead. <laughs> a thousand apologies to have kept you waiting, Bishop World. Raedric, you could not make one apology and mean it, much less a thousand. For the Baron of such a troubled area of Munster, you seem to have an abundance of free time. These theatrics are not what you promised you would spend your resources on. I am uh, certain your eminence will enjoy the spectacle I prepared. <sighs> oh, very well. I could do with a moment's diversion. Well, it's all in her hands now. That swordmaster better live up to her name. And now the star takes center stage. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like going to the arena to. Uh, nope. Hey, just for the record, I never said three set villains were good. <laughs> okay, that, that that warrior in the middle has an extra. Oh, whoops. Yeah, that's uh, Karen, right? That's Karen. I didn't know. Oh, it, oh I didn't I, need her anyway. I guess she didn't yeah. have a sword. No. Extra point of movement. Uh, I hope she didn't have anything other valuable things. Mm -hmm. Oh, oops. otherwise this might be bad. Uh-oh, Aspo, please, please no. Yeah, so this is why you wanted to have some speed. Oh, I guess not. The Mage, I think, have, like, very low attack speed, but so does Aspo right now, because Tomes do not get negated by, uh... Yeah, so so strength literally doesn't matter for them at all. Yeah. Ow, uh -oh. come on! Can you, like, not get hit? That's, like, your thing, right? You just never get punished? I mean, now he'll level up and he'll get a point of speed, which will help a little bit, I guess. Yeah, it's uh, it's too oh. avoid. Well, I guess not. Oops. All right. So I think he has to dodge. At, yeah, he's in range of five. He's in range of five. That'll be fine. Five damage. God damn it! Number one asshole. What? Dodge. Okay. Yeah. No. Oh, that no actually probably saved his life. Uh, yeah, that could have been uh, the lifesaver. Yeah. Oh my, he got oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Nice. All right, that was worth it. That was worth it. Everything except for defense. Okay. Yeah. Well, they'll they'll run away now. So. Honestly, I think he has like a good shot at surviving the sniper if he uses a phone right now. Oh, you think so? Yeah, I mean, the, the other mages near there don't really move, so there's no point in doing it now. So I might want to save it for later and uh, have Aspel help out on the front lines. Probably a good idea, yeah. Um, too bad he's not in range. So, yeah, she didn't have any weapons, so we can kill this guy with Fergus easily enough, right? Yeah, for sure. Let's go. I capture baited without even knowing. Capture with Lithus? Nah, capture with Karen. That's the big break, please. <laughs> I guess the Hazul scroll is nice on Fergus at this moment. Yeah, and he does need some strength. And, wow, uh, magic. Got, like, none. <laughs> hey, magic actually isn't bad for him, though. No, it helps with the fire sword, for sure. Right. Okay, so yeah, I think we'll just... Um, I'm fine with the what Aspel has killed right now. I think I'm just going to... Yeah. 
I agree, because that one mage is like behind him on low HP. He's not a threat anymore later. You nope. stop like four or five of them for attacking you later. Now we actually have to be sort of careful here to not break the light brand, because we have four uses left. Although, actually, come to think of it, 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 it turns it, into a broken sword. It turns matter. into a broken sword, doesn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. Still a ways away from B sword, so we can't use the flame sword or the brave sword, but you can use the rage. Fergus is five blade. attacks away from getting the, the flame sword, though, so I can probably trade it to him at some point. I, I think I told you back in like four X to trade him for the brave sword to Fergus. <laughs> Uh, all right. Okay. <clears throat> well, I can't steal his fire tome. That kind of sucks. But um. Yeah, that's uh, why I was wondering why the hell you rescued him instead of just protecting him with uh, with writing. I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah. Nope. But I feel like I feel asshole that I get meteor. You have to do almost every fire tome you find, or you have to buy them, which it's a weakness of mine. So I always try to steal every single fire tome I can. But if you're not planning to get a meteor, it doesn't really matter. I uh, don't think we'll be meteoring Aspal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, uh, it's fine. It just takes a little longer afterwards, but getting it is like a serious investment. He needs to get from basically E rank to B rank and then get like plus one more from promotion. You know what? I think I'm going to give Leaf a better sword. I think I want to give him like uh, maybe the short sword or something. Both of those are fine for him for right now. I don't think he's going to kill an armor knight with it or anything, but it probably does more damage than a freaking slim sword. Yeah, because the slim sword is so garbage, you know? It's, uh, I think it's just meant for like people like Laura and Karin to have someone without uh, something without weighing themselves down, basically. You just want to keep using Karin to like capture bait, capture bait the armors. Yeah, I mean she works just as well for it as uh, as any. It just holds you down a little bit. It's like a certain timing you have to hit with um, with that mm -hmm. quarter over there. Like, I can do like a lengthy explanation of how that arena fighting bit works if you want. It's like super. Sure. super so there's three guys right now, and the idea is uh, Raedric wants to keep the party going, so every time one of them dies, he replaces them with another enemy that comes out of those gates. They don't stop coming, and they don't stop coming. They don't yeah. stop coming, and they don't stop coming. Like, yeah, first off, it's like a, I think first it's a Swordmaster, that's like super strong, and then there's a Berserker, that's also super strong, they have like killer weapons, mm -hmm. then finally you get Galaxus. And uh, that's just turn 15, but like whenever there's like an open gap for him, he'll jump in, basically. Um, but like every time an enemy dies, a new one comes to replace him. Yeah. And there's also the option of getting Marita, but she's not triggered by uh, killing enemies, but rather by going to like little two tile white corridor above the priest. So once you enter that part, Marita will come in, no matter what how many enemies are around. But once Marita is on the field, she counts as an enemy as one of the three that can be alive. So what you want to do ideally is have uh, an Adel kill someone the turn you trigger Marita. Yeah. And that when Marita will replace an existing enemy. And then you want to stop killing enemies. Either that, or you just you basically want to make sure that there's no chance ever of uh, Gals and those two other enemies appearing. That's kind of tricky to do because Avel can randomly kill enemies with crits and atoms. So. Yeah. And sometimes you run up and heal. So it's, it's, it's very tricky to time, uh, but there is a good reason to like hurry up a little bit and get there before those enemies appear inevitably. Uh, but I do agree that putting Avel in the corner is nice because it means she gets to take less enemies and you get more control over when exactly they die. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's. Um... You don't double, by the way. I know, I know, I know. So, I think Avel has the immortality skill in in the arena, but she can still be captured. Yeah, but the odds of that happening are so low. I've never seen it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I see. Because they have to like hit at her with like half and skill and attack put in half. Yoink! Yep. Thanks, dude. Doesn't this? Yeah, that that's the guy with the holy water, right? Uh, that's a priest. That's the guy with the holy water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Makwa. Yeah, she actually no, she doesn't kill here. No, she if she had a steel sword. She would though. Hmm. Mr. Eh, we'll just let Fergus get the kill, I guess. Yeah, we can with Macho if you want. Yeah, we can with Macho kill with, with kill with Fergus. Yeah, and that armor knight should run away. Uh, he's in. He's like got someone captured. They like to run away if they do that. So he'll probably yeah. run up. Although, if he can kill a unit, don't you think he'll do it? Generally not. But uh, if you don't want to take a chance, then uh, kill him with someone else, I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't know who's supposed to kill him though. You could kill the mage with Leaf and then kill the armor knight with Fergus. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Now, there's a funny little thing about uh, about Leaf. Whenever you open the door, doesn't he just like run to the door immediately? Yeah, if someone else opens the door, then he'll run towards it. And uh, anyone he's holding is gonna come with him. <laughs> yeah, so it's like. <laughs> you can have him rescue Asil and get all the way over there. Mm -hmm. The graph kind of a fork strategy. And finally, fine. Wait, wait. Is it safe for Fergus? Yes, eleven. Uh, eleven. Guys, uh, I have to be fine. Yeah, but now we're finally gonna go ahead and do this. Ah, uh, yes, finally. 
<laughs> Why are you giving away to Brave Sword Man? <laughs> I, I, I just I, I just want to see how you react. You're the worst. You're the worst. <laughs> the worst. You're the worst. It's the yeah. clever mode, but worse. <laughs> oh. Everyone gangsta till Manx activates clever mode. Is that a thing? Oh. oh, okay, that's good. Now I can heal him. Now I can heal him. See, you can rely on the bigger star, Mecha. Were you relying on it then? Yes, I'm always relying on it. Okay. There's gonna come many points in this level. Actually, there there already already have been when I wanted to rely on the star. And you want to rely on the star, but you don't. Mm -hmm. yeah, interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think yep. the tile that like to Avos left is something that they cannot step on. It looks like something they can step on, but they can't. So that means you only attack one guy per turn, which is generally good. Oh, this one? Yeah. Oh, it's five defense too. Yeah, but it doesn't. They can't move on it. I think. It's like, oh, uh, really? Yeah, it's like it's got like two dashes of in this thing. I don't know, just find out I guess by pressing. Oh enter. yeah, it's a door. Yeah, I guess so. It's like a it's like a hidden door. Yeah, it's like a trap door. Where? That's weird. All right, here we go. Mm -mm. So I guess if they crit her and ca crit crit capture, I don't know if the enemy would even do that. Well, they cannot decide mid battle to capture. So if they go for a normal attack and they would crit, they would just miss. I think unless the crit doesn't kill. No, but I, I know Abel. I know Abel can get captured. I've seen it. Yeah, but it doesn't really happen here. So now, if you like, now is a good time to uh, activate Marita, and then you probably want to kill the mercenary, or maybe so like activate the Marita by killing killing this guy. No, no, you uh, you move someone into the corridor with like uh, Fergus or Matt. Like just move them off basically, and that will trigger Marita by itself. Oh, like here? Yeah. Turn ah, there. right, right, right. She's even more skilled than I hoped. How delightful. Here, a reward befitting a magnificent performer. What are you scheming? Hehe, <laughs> bring the girl out. Also, this music is the best. Ma Marita? Da 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 da. Oh no. He turned her into Jafar. <laughs> Marita, Marita, oh, you're safe after all. I can't tell you how worried. Little man, don't move a muscle. Huh? Yeah, he's stuck there anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Marita, talk to me. Kill. What? Kill, kill, kill. With this sword, all, all, all of you. Kill all of you. Marita, you. Mother and daughter reunited at last. Tell me, is she all you remembered, Abel? What have you done to my Marita? Me? I didn't do anything. Quite the contrary. She was trying to escape, so I gave her that sword to grant her a fighting chance. It's an exceptional bray blade, straight from the treasure vault inside this very castle. The Shadow Sword, I believe it's called. The Shadow Sword? A cursed blade. You're trying to turn Marita into one of your damn pit fighters with your little gift? It's my fun. gift is cursed, you say? Well, this is the first time I'm hearing of it. I'll rip that lying tongue right out of your mouth. How dare you do this to Mar- Amusing as your threats are, shouldn't you be worrying about yourself right now? The Shadow Sword bears incredible power. An exceptional gift for an exceptional woman. <laughs> Raydrick! Marita, look at me. Snap out of it. Dun dun dun. So here she comes. Marita! She has the Shadow Sword. She's level lovely. 7. That's not her actual base level. I never noticed yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> she's like higher level in this arena fight. I never noticed that, actually. Well, it would be a b big shame if she were to kill her mom, so... Yeah, but they can't. <laughs> like, Marita and Avel can actually kill each other, but you didn't know that in your Iron Man, so it was like a bunch of fake tension all over the place. That, that, you know what, there's not a lot of fake tension, actually, but that is fake tension. <laughs> It was fake tension without you realizing it. <laughs> All right, so I should. Yeah, so, now, so now, if you kill one of the pit fighters, uh, there will not be a new one immediately. But if you kill two, there will be one of the ones you don't want, like the swordmaster or the berserker. Yeah. So you want to try to not kill, I guess. Yeah. So you can you can kill the mercenary, or you can leave him alive, and he'll probably either run off and heal or suicide. Ooh. I think I usually run off and heal. I just uh, the star. Mm -hmm. So that bunch of soldiers like a little annoying. Like the one has a battle axe. I generally, what I do is um, I get one of the thieves with just a door and nothing else. I can open a door and they get captured, but they will have nothing left in their inventory. So it's ah, fine. also I only have one lockpick. 
Oh, that's right. Uh, that's uh, also true. I actually don't remember if you have a door key left, because I think you used a couple of I think I Perfect. used it, yeah. So what do you like to do here? Just not attack? Um, well, or the one... get the kill on Nana. Yeah, you can get the kill to Nana if you want. It's uh, 69 hits. Um, that means let's that go. if the warrior or the general suicide, you will get one of the strongest enemies. So it's a little risky. But it's also uh, also experience for Nana. Yeah, I don't think Nana 6 speed matters too much. Um, oh, you don't? She... It's, she heals, so generally it doesn't really matter what level she is. Ah. Okay. But it's fine. Alright, so just don't do anything with Abel then. Yeah, because if you move her out and like attack, you just give enemies more opportunities to die, which in this case is a bad thing. So if, you, if she crits now, you're probably going to face a, like the Swordmaster or the Berserker. I'll be fine. I won't crit. Yeah, probably not. See? Never punished. Never punished. Yeah. So this could be a turn where you open the door and... Uh, I usually like to open the door to turn I kill these pit fighters, but uh, it doesn't always work out that way. Like if Aspel, I think is too far away right now to kill the. the no, nope, he can kill the warrior. Okay, does, is he low HP then? He's not right. He's yeah, not. not oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He... You can put Leaf in range and then he's like a 53. No, actually only 25% chance to crit because of the cap. Mm -hmm. I can. Or... Um, hmm. What if I? What if I light sword the warrior and then rescue Leaf? I think you still don't do enough damage. You only do eight with Leaf. <clears throat> You can give Aspel the pure water this turn, and then uh, next turn accept something. Or you can just hit the warrior twice. He actually, no, yeah, uh, that's actually not a bad idea. I can do that. I mean, he can get it anyway, right? Yeah, so uh, Aspel can always get it. The question is, uh, it's still not going to be enough to kill. I think next turn you might have to kill the general with him. You can also uh, use someone to capture bait one of these guys later. They're not yeah. the biggest threat in the world. But yeah, the I'll... Is he's dying. But yeah, I'll, I'll go for the crit. All right, expected. Let's go. Crit, 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 crit. Twenty-five percent for the cap. Oh right, yeah, the cap is on twenty-five. Oh wow. Yeah. So you like to just open the door this turn then? Um. Will that get um, Lifus killed? Well, what happens if you open the door? Yeah, Lifus gets killed or captured, and Abel disappears. So Nana might also be in a bit of danger. She can probably like survive with the Earth Sword, but there's a chance she misses her something. That's kind of annoying. I think I'll just heal oh, Abel. Yeah. The well, Aethel just disappears if you open the door. Like, she's just gone. It's done. Ah, yeah. Let's Aethel. wait one more turn, then. I don't want to open yeah, it yet. Yeah. The general does not one round Nana, I think, because they gave him a stem sword. <laughs> or the stem lance. Oh, that's funny. Uh, why don't they just hit him with Nana, then? Uh, that could work. Uh, but he will probably heal if you do that. Oh, right. But he probably heal anyway, right? Oh, no, actually. Yeah, he's not going to heal yet. He's not going to heal yet. All right, cool. Well, Aethel, I think I prefer not opening the door. You could, like, bait one of the soldiers over with this, like, uh, just capture bait him. And uh, that will make it a little more free for the next turn, because there's like, plenty of people to kill that soldier, right, next turn. Or next I can turn. use Fergus. Yeah, you can kill him with Fergus as well. That works. He's almost out of rape here. He yeah. will not break a rape in mid-battle, so you don't have to worry too much about it. Oh, he won't? Yeah, he won't break a mid-battle, but if he faces more than uh, two enemies, then there's a chance it will be broken by the time he faces the next one, but it could be worse. Aha, uh -huh. alright. Let's see. Let's uh, just keep moving. I guess I could uh, open the door with uh, Lara and just get capture baited. Yeah, and uh, you have a, I think it's a precessor door key actually that you could have given to someone else. So you can get that door key to Lara and then make, her, make sure that you can uh, open the door next turn. That'd be nice. Yeah, okay. Uh, well, you get too. Let's see. I think I used the door key. I'm pretty sure I did. Uh, but you cannot use it this chapter because there haven't been any other any door. So, uh... Oh, yeah, that also, yeah, well, that's a horrible place to have it. Yeah, that's the best place for it to be. <laughs> well, actually, he has five moves. So one, two, three, four, five. Uh, and then one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, no, no way. I can trade chain it, though. Yeah, you can give it to, like, much or something. Shouldn't be too hard. Let's do it. So, uh, Lara, Lara has nothing else on her right now? Nope. Okay. Yeah, healing Aethel doesn't really matter other than giving HP to Nana. I like Staff to... experience. Yeah. I like to make sure that Nana doesn't fatigue after Manster, so you don't want to heal, heal spam all the time. Uh, but it's a different thing to make Chapter 8 a little bit easier. Yeah, that's true. But it takes like 23 plus heals to get her fatigued, so you still have plenty of wiggle room in that regard. Alright, I actually like that she didn't kill this guy this turn. Yeah, yeah, it's good, it's good. And the other guy doesn't even get to attack, and this soldier's gonna be out of the way, so you're looking good. Mm -hmm. And I do believe Fergus should very soon... Uh, oh wow, he didn't kill. Yeah, it's uh, strength is still like base level. My my last Fergus on my Iron Man got like four level strength. <laughs> <laughs> like he's actually just straight up pulling forward. That terrible. Oh, 
What's the meaning of this? The girl wields the shadow sword, yet she struggles to finish the job. She hasn't even it's reached. Not a fool. <laughs> Hmm, the blade does not appear to rule over her completely. That's absurd, as if a mere child could, uh... The memories of her mother make her falter and hesitate. Her emotion dulls the sword's strength, the same as running its edge across stone. She'll, uh, she, she's like a caged animal, desperately throwing herself against her binds. Or have you not even noticed her tears, you imbecile? Yeah, I really hope they remake this game and show like a portrait with a Marie with like tears on her face or something. That'd be remake. cool, yeah. Yeah, I too love it when girls cry. Yeah, I know, right? I, I knew you were gonna go somewhere like that. <laughs> okay, so we open the door this turn, yeah? Uh, are you able to kill with like fire or thunder? You don't have to use Dark Target for everything, you know? Ooh. You might want to kill a warrior with him, actually. Yep, that one. Can you not kill a warrior at your current HP with the uh, Asphalt? Because no one else can kill the warrior, I think. But the general you can kill with like. Um, well, I have to use a Graf Caliber, I think, if I want to kill him. Oh, yeah. No, actually, uh, I don't. I don't. He's the one you can kill, yeah. So, I guess you have to be okay with not killing the warrior, then? He doesn't have that much stats, right? He's not that strong. Nah, he'll be- I'll be fine. Yeah, sure. Sure, he'll be fine. Okay, so don't miss then, I guess. I won't. Yeah. Let's go. Go piss. There you go! Brrrr. You get so much experience for killing these pit fighters, I love it. Yeah. I mean, they're promoted. Makes sense, right? Mm-hmm. Right? More, more, yeah, more everything. The con doesn't actually matter. <laughs> no, 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 it doesn't. It doesn't actually matter in like a very obscure way, but other than that, it doesn't matter. What do you mean so, it doesn't it doesn't matter in like a very obscure uh, way? Sometimes I like to have Aspal and Beef carry each other, and uh, they're built up to determine whether that's possible or not. Ah, right, so it's actually like a nerf? Yeah, it can be. It depends on their both their build stats. You want it to be different so that one can carry the other. But uh, yeah. sometimes they have the same build in this sort of chapter, and it's like that. But you can't really control it, so you just have to take it. Yep, so, okay, so as long as we get rid of this guy, then we should be able to uh, open the door this turn, and then we can capture Bait Lara, right? Uh, yes. And I was thinking you could kill the guy with Macho, because she's not going to do anything else. But so whatever you like. Um, Leaf is going to be teleported in front of the door after you open it, so that could be... Like, you could make use of that. Oh, right, yeah. he still gets to move? Oh, what the hell? Yeah. Well, there we go. <laughs> Muck were good guys. She actually got a really good level up in the last uh, chapter. Uh huh. Oh, well, well, okay. Alright, All right. still leveling up pretty well. Maybe we have to use Makwa. Alright, let's open the I'll door. That we don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now Ava and uh, Marina are like, no more, no more, <laughs> no more factor. Nana, you're safe. Lord Leaf, please, you have to help Ava. I don't know how much more of this she can take. Leave it to us, but stay behind me, Nana. Commander, are you all right? Little Lord, everyone. <laughs> Good to see you all made it. I can't begin to thank you for protecting Nana in this ghastly place. Would that I could have done the same for my own kin. No. What happened to Marita? Kill, kill. H how did you escape from the dungeon? <laughs> Me, one mecha. Gets out. <laughs> Man sees them. No wait. Kill them. Kill every last one of them. If that whelp gets free of the castle, it'll be on my head. All hands enter the arena and stain the ground with their blood. Butcher that woman and her rebel like the swine they are. Panicking already, Radric. Fear not. I'll clean up your mess for you. What? Time for some magic, boys. Yoink! Yoink! <laughs> Here, have some weed. Oh no, not those. Not those jokes. <laughs> those are like secret fire level jokes. <laughs> Perfect for this channel. God's breath. Your blunt is truly a sight to behold. Your spellcraft is truly a sight to behold. Your eminence, not even the wildest fable could compare to this. <laughs> and now I have the perfect statue for the proud warrior of Fianna, an eternal monument for the pride and pr prize of defiance. <laughs> We've nothing to fear now. There's no rescuing a block of stone. Now, kill them all. Don't let them any of them get away. Goodbye. Yeet. Yeet. <laughs> Man, he's sure has got some nice staff utility, this guy. Yeah, can we just steal his staffs, please? <laughs> he didn't even have any staffs on him, but he used Rescue, Rewarp, and Warp in one turn. 
what a, what a chance. All right, so I've been trying to keep this uh, these chapters like one chapter per episode, but we're reaching the point where that is becoming increasingly impossible. So we're going to leave off here and continue in the next part. Uh, join us as we complete the Mancer's escape, maybe, in like one or two chapters, and uh, face off against my favorite character in Tracia, Vandal. Oh god, my favorite too. I yeah. love him. He's so, <laughs> so deep, you know, so multi-layered and faceted. Yeah, support signs win. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Peace.